What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I am on my way to get the big sub. We're doing the Joe Boo Heater. It is going to be a fried chicken sandwich dipped in the buffalo, Joe Boo's buffalo sauce topped with ghost pepper cheese with a little coleslaw on top of it Whew, and sweet pickles. I can't wait. So I'm getting this up here and we've got about six hours and nine minutes before kickoff. I'm scared. I'm, 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 I'm going to be frank with you. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm hyper. My heart rate is up. This could be a defining moment for the Cowboys of getting back on top. I hate to put that in perspective and put it on the players, but this is the honest truth, man. The Cowboys, 30 years since we've had the last playoff win, 30 years, having made the playoffs with the win here and a win there and not much success like we used to be. We got to get this win, man. But um, it's not why I'm here at the moment, man. Like I said, I'm just, I've got all kinds of emotions that are going through. Uh, I'm, I'm up and down and people keep asking me a score prediction. It's like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say one. I, I just don't know. It's been a crazy weekend of football. Crazy things have happened. Seeing the 27 point, you know, uh, come from behind victory for the Jags. Seeing the Baltimore Ravens with the third string quarterback literally picking apart the Chargers. I don't see me, not the Chargers, the, the, the Bengals. And seeing all of this happen, and yet, a punt, punter getting hit, and a fumble on the goal line was the reason that the Cincinnati Bengals won that game. I just don't know. It's playoffs. Crazy things happen. One thing we do know is come Friday, Dan Quinn will be doing an interview be doing an interview with the Denver Broncos. Dan Quinn, especially in the first half of the season, had that offense, I'm excuse me, that defense humming. And see, see look, I'm so nervous that I, I can't even speak right right now. I can't even speak right now. But Dan Quinn had that defense humming playing like mother humpers out there. I really don't want to lose Dan Quinn because, see, Dan Quinn, you know, he is a teacher of men. He is a motivator. He is a guy who comes up with ways of giving you advantages. You see what he has done with Mike Parsons. Mike Parsons has been you know, a great player. I don't know that Micah Parsons would be as great a player without having the tutelage of Dan Quinn. And sometimes that's the difference of winning and losing is coaching and coaching matters. Hopefully he's taught Micah Parsons enough if he is gonna leave us. I'd like to know how you're feeling today. I'd like to know, are you nervous? Are you scared? Are you worried? Are you excited? Are you hyped? Do you just want, I, I just want to get it over with. That's what I want. I just want to get it over with. Mm. Ooh, child. All right, good people. 
Hope y'all are having a great day. I've got uh, the chicken ready. The chicken is marinating now. That guy needs to miticize his muffler. And um, got the orders in the workshop together. Uh, ready to be shipped out by uh, Michael. Tracy's working on some shirts for uh, Queen Bella and her dad. Mm. Yeah. people.